Um, I'll just go through some things here in Blackboard and give you an idea of how things are going to run. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen here with you. This one here, I believe. We get our magical tunnel vision. There you go. All right. So here's what your Blackboard uh, window will uh, look like. We'll go to the Start Here page just really quickly. Um, I think someone was saying that this link, uh, one of these two links here doesn't work. And it gives us kind of the 16-week overview kind of calendar week by week. And it's very general and also uh, subject to change. But there's some important information in here. So I'll make sure that these links uh, are up and working uh, by the end of the day. Uh, some buttons here on the left-hand side. This is where we're going to do most of the navigating through the course here. Uh, we'll start out at course content. Inside course content, you'll find links to different PowerPoints, worksheets, and videos that are related to uh, course content. So clicking on PowerPoints, uh, you'll get to see all the different PowerPoints that we're going to be doing throughout the course here. Uh, there's also some worksheets that are a little bit outdated, but if you want extra work, these worksheets may, uh, may come in handy for you, but they're not necessary by any means. Um, next button down here is the calendar button on the left-hand side, and you'll see this brings up a uh, calendar for the next few months, uh, telling us what our daily activity is uh, as planned for the next 16 weeks. And basically, the way I've laid out this uh, calendar for the next 16 weeks is one ILM per day. Uh, you'll see that we're, we're the red ones here. So every day uh, at nine o'clock, we'll meet in the live classroom. I will give a lecture uh, along with the PowerPoint for the subject, which will be recorded and made available to anybody who is not present for the, for the live lecture. Um, and that's kind of what's going on with this calendar. So if you're not sure where we are or what we're going to be doing the next day, this would be the place to, uh, to come and look. Um, this calendar is kind of live uh, and may get moved around a little bit, but for the most part, we're going to try to, uh, try to stick to the calendar. Uh, and again, basically one ILM per day. Uh, you'll see where exams fall in here. Uh, you'll still have a lecture on that day, but you'll also be uh, assigned an exam to be completed sometime during uh, the 24-hour period of that day. So typically, uh, for example, this matter unit A test will be unlocked at 9 a.m. and it'll be available uh, until midnight uh, of this day, uh, at which time uh, it, it may or may not be closed. I am not seeing any questions right now, so I'll get back to the questions in a second once I switch off of sharing my screen here. Uh, other navigating uh, is done here in these weeks 1 through 16 on the side. And if you click on these weeks, uh, it generally tells you what the, what the idea is for that particular week. And if there's any uh, quizzes or tests that fall in that week, they will be uh, found in here as well. Let's just move uh, a couple of weeks down. Let's go to week three here and see if we can't find an exam. So here's an example of how you would find an exam, measurement exam number one, uh, falling in week three, uh, requires a Respondus Lockdown Browser. This Respondus Lockdown Browser, for those of you who haven't uh, used it before, is an online proctoring service which essentially records you uh, while you uh, do an exam at home. Uh, this allows Tim and I to be able to review uh, the video of you taking the exam uh, to make sure that you're not uh, cheating, basically, is what it's for. Um, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's some information for lockdown browser information. Uh, there'll be links in there to the software for Respondus Lockdown Browser, which you'll have to download onto your computer. When you're using the lockdown browser, uh, it closes all other applications on your computer, so you cannot serve Google or anything else while you're doing a test. Uh, so one of the first things you should do is probably get into this lockdown browser and become familiar with that because you will be using it um, for all your quizzes and tests. So they'll all fall uh, somewhere here within, in, within the weeks. Uh, these weeks may or may not necessarily line up exactly with the calendar. 
Um, but they are in a sequential order uh, nonetheless. So weeks one through 16 are, are progressive, just like the calendar is, although they might not exactly match up. Um, in terms of how you want to approach this course, uh, you can either follow along with us uh, or with me and Tim, and we're going to be basically following this calendar schedule. Uh, but you are more than welcome to attack it in a different way if you want to attack it uh, in a different way, uh, such as going subject by subject. The downside to that, of course, is that you will not have all the PowerPoints and lectures uh, available to you if you work ahead of our schedule. So that's kind of up to you uh, and your own personal preferences. Um, not really much else in here for you guys to look at. So that's basically um, how the course is laid out. So one ILM per day, basically, and you'll see as we get towards the end here, uh, end of June, we have uh, one, two, three, uh, about eight days that are that are blank right here. Um, this is a buffer zone that we'll use in case we have issues earlier in the program uh, where we might have to take a day or two on some of these subjects uh, that are only currently scheduled for one day, but this is kind of our buffer zone. I'm hoping uh, that most of us will be done before week 16, um, but this course is 16 weeks long should you require uh, that total amount of time. So that's, uh, that's basically that. Uh, live classroom uh, is where we're going to be meeting every day. If uh, you're looking for a recording uh, of a lecture that you missed, if we come to the top side of this uh, live classroom window, click on the menu, you'll see a button here that says recordings. And if you can click on that, the re current recordings or any recordings that have been made will be listed here. Uh, we don't have any as of yet, so there are none here for you to look at. But if you are not present for a nine o'clock lecture and you want to see it at a later time, this is where you'll find that recording. Uh, otherwise, you just click on the course room here and that will bring up join course room and you can join the course room and that's where you'll find everybody uh, in the morning. So that's about it for what I've got to say uh, regarding the Blackboard portion of it. Uh, I heard a couple of pop-ups there. I don't know if that was chatty chat. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Dustin says, I'm here, but my computer doesn't have one or mic. Uh, but it doesn't say, okay, Dustin, you're going to have to get that figured out. Um, you will need an internet connection with a camera and a microphone in order to do your exams, of course. Well, Tim's already answered that question. So, perfect. Uh, Dustin, are you Colleen's? Kid? No, it's it's Benjamin. Ah, that's right, Benjamin. Perfect. All right, so I don't know what else there is to say about that. We're going to meet here every morning at 9 o'clock, just like this, and we'll give a lecture of the day. And then the expectation then is for you to maintain the schedule, and that would essentially mean doing at least that ILM for the day. Uh, but I would recommend if you can get into the next ILM and stay ahead of the game, uh, that would probably serve you, uh, serve you better. But again, you can finish this course uh, as fast as you'd like, um, but you get no longer than 16 weeks. The 16 weeks. Does anybody uh, that's in here today have any intention in, of finishing faster than 16 weeks? I'm going to probably speed it up a bit. Perfect. And are you guys going to do it uh, in the same kind of format as the calendar, or are you guys going to try to attack this, you know, what we call block learning, where you go a subject at a time? You're going to try to follow the calendar. That'll usually, that'll usually work best. Um, we'll see how things go. I'm, I may try to record lectures uh, in advance uh, if I can, but for this is kind of our first time around with a full online 16 week class, and it works out better for us as instructors if we kind of record the lecture 
uh, with some students. Uh, that allows us to address some common questions that, that get brought up. Um, otherwise, it's kind of just us talking and uh, maybe not be as good, but um, we'll deal with that, I guess, uh, as, we, as we move through the course. So that's basically everything I've got to uh, say. Uh, you'll see that in week, uh, what week was it that I've got here? Week, where's that calendar? March, April, week nine, which is May the 2nd to the 6th, is what we have scheduled for lab week. So lab week means that you have to come to Red Deer uh, for that week to complete your labs. That is not a flexible uh, not a flexible date. That's the only time that it's scheduled. So hopefully you have enough time that you can now book that off. So again, May 2nd to 6th uh, will be the lab week. And that's it. That's all I've got to say for today. Um, again, I'm Tyler. Uh, I'll be doing uh, process controls, uh, analyzers, chemistry, and something else can't remember was it measurement chemistry analyzers process, process. control and you're doing and tim does electronics so i'll do tim's electronics like, tim's currently doing a second year class so you may or may not see him live um but we got his classes all scheduled for friday so hopefully he can he can make it um, but we'll see how that works out. Yeah, so right now I'm in a, in a full face-to-face uh, -face class as well as high flex. So I've got, uh, I've got nine students in my classroom and I have five students online. So we just started last Monday. So on Fridays I've given quizzes and exams. So it allows me to get freed up a little bit, but we're going to see how it goes. Uh, with electronics, I'll try to be live. If I can't be live, it'll be recorded. And then any questions or whatever, you just can get a hold of me uh, through my email. All right. Well, this is not nearly as exciting as in person, that's for sure. <laughs> or not as many people have showed. No, I hope uh, hope that turns around quickly. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have to say for this morning. Are there any questions out there? Uh, yes, you do have tests showing up in the, in the calendar. Uh, let me just show you where they are here. Okay. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna head out. If there's no okay. questions for me, if there, you can. Uh, uh, you can get a hold of me at, I'm going to put my email in the chat. So Carter here on the 22nd of March, here's a matter test. Here's a measurement exam number one on the 24th. Here's an analyzer exam on the 29th. This is not a link to the test. This is just a day where the test is. So for example, if I went into uh, week three over here, we should, and this may or may not be set up correctly. There it is, the chemistry unit exam is here. So this is where you would, uh, you'd click on the exam here and that would take you to the, the test. Okay. Um, to access these tests, you can't click on them actually here in Blackboard. You have to go into the Respondus Lockdown browser, and maybe I'll just show you quickly what that looks like. Uh, where the heck is that Respondus Lockdown browser? Oh, I have to minimize here. Respondus Lockdown browser looks like this here. I'm not sure if you're watching my screen or not watching my screen. Oh, oh yeah. read, read your comments then. Uh, read, read your comments, Tyler.
It looks like we lost Tyler. Uh, he probably has some con conductivity or connection issues too. <laughs> connectivity. Um, they're going on all the time. Uh, if you ever get into a situation where you do get kicked out, uh, make sure you just uh, text Tyler or I, whatever test you're doing, uh, email us and we'll get back to you right away. Uh, there's never a need to panic. Um, we'll always be here to help you out. So just just um, basically email Tyler or I and we'll get back to you as, uh, as soon as possible. But again, no different than last year for the guys with me in second year. We'll work things out, if, uh, whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, as of now, I can see that, uh, that Tyler's lost connectivity. So it's going to be common now with everybody working from home and all this kind of stuff. So um, it's not a big deal. Yeah, Tyler's back in the session now, so uh, he'll try to get back on. But again, don't worry about it. Uh, we're here to help you out, not to make you fail. We're here to pass, get you passed through with all the uh, all the material that you need to take. So again, uh, I don't see that Tyler's in here. So if you don't have any other questions, uh, I'm sure that uh, um, you'll come up with some. Just give us a just give us a shout on emails. Okay, guys. All right, this is over. Go back to work or whatever you're doing, and we will talk to you uh, soon. You're back, Tyler. Yeah, I am. I don't know what happened to me there. That's yeah, okay. I just told them about if, if this ever happens to them, that especially on an exam, just to text to email us and we'll get right back and we'll fix things up. Do I get that question answered about the test there? Who was that? Really? Yeah, yeah. They and uh, Carter, Carter said that uh, he thought it would be in different colors. That's all. Oh, yeah, no. So it can't, we can't change the colors. So. No, it's good. So all right. those left eyes. All right, well, I'm done if you're done. Yeah, I'm done.